Well, welcome along to the vlog, folks. This morning um, is the Monday after the uh, Brewtubers meetup, which was quite an eventful day or so this weekend. Uh, I didn't grab much footage from it, to be quite honest. So what I have got, I will pop in at the end of this video. There ain't much. But what I'd also do is recommend that you go across to the other, a few of the other channels from the guys that actually turned up and check out their videos and I'll leave a link down below for you to find that. It's going to be normal service resumed though for me here on the vlog as of today and one of the issues that we had over the weekend was um, the ladies toilets seem to be flooding a little bit. Oh, I look quite bald there don't I? So uh, all three of the ladies when they're flushed simultaneously uh, maybe quicker than one flush at a time as well. Seems to be backing up on this drain cover down here in the center. So we're gonna lift that today. Have a look what glorious uh, little gems await us in there and basically give her a good rod in. I think there'll probably be a lot of fat and crap from the previous tenants down there going on what else we've seen uh, elsewhere in the building. Picked up two sets of drain rods this morning from Tool Station, uh, 18 pound a piece. So that should give us around 18 meters worth of rodding length. So if there's a problem in there, at the very worst, we'll be able to push it through to next doors. <laughs> there's also a manhole cover there as well, which we may lift and inspect. So to get these manhole covers up, um, I fabricated a couple of tools which should allow me to lift it. It's basically a bit of scrap metal box section with some rebar bent over to a hook and then welded on. So I should be able to grab those manhole covers and just oink them off. So uh, we'll continue with that. Back to normal on the vlog. Arms deep in shit. Nothing changes. Okay, let's have a look how this goes then. That's one move. Alright, I wonder then if these lock at all. Oh, it looks like it's been silicon down to me. <laughs> that wouldn't surprise me either. <sighs> Holy shit. <clears throat> right. I can't lift them up. I think we've siliconed it, so we're going to have to get something in there to prise it. Well, I kind of got into it. It's actually snapped my screwdriver blade, so we'll carry on from there. Fuck, thanks. Let's see how we go. Let's see how we go from here. since I've seen one as big as this. It's uh, it's a toilet roll, yeah. It's just toilet roll. Tons and tons of toilet roll just sat on top of each other. Oh my God, man. That's delicious. 
Right, let's spray inside of it and we'll dig it out. Fuck that shit, it's going down the drain, mate. Watch this. Paul said we would not take him back. <laughs> Kind of fast, like earrings. <laughs> oh, lovely. Oh, simply, simply lovely. Right, let's get some fucking glovage on. Are they gloves you've used to match up with? No, no, these are what I've used for rod drains before. I just use them for fucking odd jobs. Always rotate these clockwise, mate. Never the opposite way. Ladies and gentlemen, the toilets do have quite an aroma of their own, it's distinctive. So what we're going to do is put a bit of water down there, so if we can't get some movement. And then once we've cleared the bowl or the the, uh, the map hole area, which isn't very deep, it's only sort of eight inches deep. Once that's cleared, we'll be able to see all the entrances and exits of the sewer, and then hopefully get everything flowing nicely again. Wow, I never expected this much toilet roll down there though. It's a shocker. There are actually a couple of pools. Yay, yeah, thumbs up for the poos down below. Give me a thumbs up for the poos. So I think the sewer goes that way. solved. So now what I've done is uh, I've come outside to double check. I've left the taps running and I've lifted the manhole out here in the beer garden and it looks to have resolved the issue. Look at this. So that's my flow coming on the left and the one on the right is from the flats above which obviously is not something I've got access to at the moment. But mine seems to be flowing quite nicely. So now that job's complete, we just really need to air the ladies' toilets out and give them a good mop. Uh, the, the smell's already starting to clear, actually. I left the taps running. Not too bad on the floor, just, to, just a quick mop should do the trick. And then I'm gonna go into the brewery now and start to do some organising in there um, to sort out the mess. I must kind of apologise a little bit folks, I've done loads of work today actually and uh, I freaking forgot to get the camera out. So yeah, I've been across the tool station which you know about already and then I've started work on the uh, new stainless sinks that we're putting in over here. Come and have a look. So 
you can see it's kind of a mess, but we've got one of the sinks laid on its back down here. I'm just putting all the plumbing in. It's easier to do that than crawling underneath. The other one's just here at the side and we've pulled him out. And I'm just gonna connect up the uh, water heater on the wall there. And then once that's in position, we'll be able to push the sink in, connect up the water. That fire escape is redundant before the uh, health and safety police get on at me for it. So behind there is somebody's garden, which I don't have access to get anywhere from. That's gonna be bricked up at some point. So it will no longer exist. We have an exit out the back through the workshop and an exit out the front and let's face it, if you can't make it to either one of them, you shouldn't be in the building, frankly. So, uh, yes, anyway, digression again. So I'm gonna flip this sink up in the next half an hour and hopefully get it all plumbed in and working before I go home tonight. As you can see already out the windows, it's already freaking dark. As you can see, we've got the stainless steel double sink. It's really nice and deep as well. It's a deep sink. I can get a lot of stuff in there. And we moved the little uh, cupboard worktop thing to the side. Just fits nicely under there. We've also got like the heater on the wall next to the control panel. What I'd like to do in the future is maybe get rid of this and uh, replace it with just a stainless steel table that comes across and along the back here because it's a funny shaped wall I think what I'm going to do is uh, just put a piece of timber across to the back and then uh, I'll be able to put some stainless steel on that timber and then from the timber up I could just stick a few tiles to the wall to make a splash back and uh, I think that will work fine. I could also run it under there if I wanted or I could just end it there because that little bit there, I suppose if any water gets over this, which is waterproof by the way, it'll just run down there, no problemo. So I'm about to give Gemma a call on the mobile, see if she is mobile to come and collect me from work because it is approaching six o'clock and uh, I've got a vlog to get up for you guys, haven't I, essentially? But I think a bit more work on this tomorrow. I've got all the stainless steel sheeting as well, which I want to put over on that area there. But I'm unsure how it, I'm going to work it all. Not sure yet. But that's given me a lot more space to play with now. A lot of area to drain things. Been one of those days today. I've got that many jobs, and I literally have that many jobs. It's very difficult to prioritise which ones I'm, I, I struggle with this all the freaking time. Uh, I really want to get the shop nice and tidy, if I'm honest. But then I want to be working in it, so... You know, I've got all that timber to turn into benches for the beer garden that needs doing. I've got to cask some vacant. I want to brew again. I need to build the chimney. Maybe that's something that's more important 
than tidying the workshop because the chimney will prevent the place being absolutely drenched. So we'll see if we're gonna tack that this week. I'm not sure whether we'll have the funds or not though. We shall see what came through on Patreon over the past few days. And if you guys were kind enough to chuck me a few bucks, then we'll probably pick up that project next. But I haven't actually had a look. I'm a little shit, aren't I? Anyway, we'll wrap it up, folks. Thanks for watching. Thanks to everyone who came over on the weekend. And, uh, well, we'll see you tomorrow. We're about to set off for the big YouTube meet. And so it begins. Oh, you can tell this is going to go already, can't we? Ladies and gentlemen, they have arrived. We'll let anybody in here. I can't do a name check yet because I'm not familiar with everybody. I just know one or two familiar faces, including these two. But it looks like it's going to be a good day already. Thank you.